So today our lesson is about communication. Everyone open page 51. Let's learn about the communication. So what is communication? First of all, what is communication? So is the way we share information with other. What is the communication? It is the way we share or exchange of information by speaking, writing. It is the way we share our information with other. So now let's move on to page 51 and learn about the communication. Communication. People exchange news, thought, information, and feelings all around the world by different meanings, by different means of communication. So people, they exchange. What is the meaning of exchange? Like giving and receiving. They give uh, and re receive the news, uh, the other people's opinion, and the knowledge, information, which is called information and emotions, feelings all around the world, all over the world, by, uh, by uh, different, several meanings, uh, means of communication, okay? There are different way, of, way for people to communicate. So there are many ways, many techniques, methods to communicate uh, with people, with community. How? Some or some groups uh, of people, some groups of people, like some organization of people who lived long ago in Africa. Long ago means in a distance, past back, long time ago, past time. We are talking about the past, the situation, uh, past time, what happened past, in past, okay, in early life in Africa used a bell and drum to communicate with each other. What they use, they use bell. They use bell and drums to communicate with each other from a distance, distance from far away. They match certain uh, sounds. So they, uh, they match certain sounds. They match a uh, specific, they have a specific tone and each sound that had a different meaning. So they create a different sound that has a different meaning, different definitions, okay? Signification. When people uh, could not see each other, when people could not see each other, they send a sound signal using bell and drums. So, like in this generation, when we are not able to see each other, we have uh, uh, now the things become easier. We have a phone, we, we have a telephone, we can contact our friends and family uh, just using and dialing a number from far away land. Yes, and we can talk to them, we can chit chat with them. But what happened before when they are not able to see each other? They use the bell and drums. Bells and drums, they make a loud, a loud sound like horn and alarms, I can say, to alert or warn the people. It become easier for people to speak with each other, with each other when telephones were invented. One person can speak to another person in different continent only by dialing his phone number. So now what happened? Now the things become easier. Now people, they can speak with each other. They can speak with their families and friends. How? Just by, just by dialing a phone number, just by dialing their phone number. They can talk to, uh, talk to with them, whatever they are, no matter they are where they are, they are in Africa, they are in Europe, Asia, USA, Australia, anywhere on anywhere in the world, you can contact your friend. So now the things become very easy. It is not as hard like before. To invent, so here is the definition of invent. What is the meaning of invent? It means is to make something new that no one else can make before. 
So create and design something that has no, that has uh, not exist before. Something that doesn't exist, exist before, like telephone. It was not, not in uh, the early time before. It was not invented in past time. So people use different techniques. As you see here in the picture, the, there is a boy, a red Indian. The red Indian who lived in the United States of America used fire and smoke to send message. Two columns of smoke means that they won a battle. So before what they do, they, they use the fire to give the signal to their far, far away colleagues. As you see here, here, you see there are two columns of smoke. You see here, there are two columns of smoke. It means they are winner. They won the war. They won uh, the battle. So uh, they are the winner. This is how they give the, the signal to their far away fellows. You see here, this is called a smoke signal. This is called a smoke signal. When you see a two, if you see a two row, two columns of the smoke, that mean that they won the battle, they won the war, the fight. So they just alert their fellow members that they, this is a good news for them that, that they won the battle, the war. Now here in this picture, as you see how the, the old age people used to write. They were not able to write. They, they, they don't write like us. Before they draw uh, the pictures, the images uh, on the rock or wall in cave before they knew how to write. So people used to draw the pictures on the rock, as you see, or a wall in the cave before they now how to write. So before they learn how to write, they doesn't know how to write. They drew different pictures on the wall or uh, stone to communicate to others, to let others to understand what they are trying to say. Here. Later on, people use letter instead of pictures. So at the time in the future, earlier time, uh, people used uh, alphabets. This is the letter means alphabet, as you see here in the picture. This is uh, the alphabet. This is how they write alphabet rather than the images. So they don't use the images anymore. They don't draw the images anymore. They started to write the letters. So this is the letters in uh, Greek. As you can see, this is this is the letter the alphabets in Greek language. And this is the al uh, Russian alphabets. This one in the Russian alphabet. These are the Russian alphabet. And this is as everyone now, this is the English alphabets, A, B, C, D, E. And here, uh, this one is the Arabic alphabet, Arabic letter. I guess it's called Haru. So this is the Arabic. Like Aleph, Ba, Ta, Sa, Jim. These are the Arabic uh, alphabets. So here are some of uh, the uh, different alphabets used around the world. Used around the world. Long ago, making a copy of a book meant to rewrite it again and again for as many copies as were needed. So what happened before, in, in the distance, past distance, long time ago, uh, people used to make uh, copies. They don't, as they don't have uh, machines at that time, it was not invented like printer, uh, like printer zero machines, as you see in this picture. So what they do, they rewrite, they write again and again and again, like when they are making a book, there was no printer. They are just writing by their hand. And that take too much time. It take plenty of time to write the books again and again. And it is the difficult part, the hardest part at that time. 
this is this is taking to this is taking a lot of time as i said that this one this thing is taking a plenty of time today a photocopier can make hundreds of copies in hours so as you see here the xerox machine that can make lots lots of copies uh, at the same time okay so and it take a uh, uh, it takes very less time to make copies. You don't need to write. You just uh, use the photocopy machine and you can take as many copies as much you need it, as much you require it. Move on to page 55. So the easiest way of communication is talking to each other. What is the easiest, simplest, simplest way of discussion? It is uh, uh, to speaking with each other, to speaking with the uh, people, to do the conversation with the people. Okay, deaf people. Now here, what is the meaning of deaf people? First, let let uh, let uh, this word. Let me explain what is this word mean. Deaf people, if you don't know, it means the people who cannot, who are not able to hear or talk. The people who are not able to hear, okay, who cannot hear or uh, lacking the power of hearing. So they are not able to hear. How they, they, the, these people can talk? They use the sign language. We call it sign language. Deaf people communicate with, with each other by making a special sign with their hands. So they are making a special sign with their hand. Now look at this. Everyone make the sign. I want to see the sign. Please make the sign of letter A. How we can make the sign of letter A? Yes. I want to see the students to make the sign of letter A. This is a sign called sign language. Yes, very good. I can see Mahmoud, Mahmoud Ayman. The rest of the students are, the rest of the student I'm not able to see as they close their camp. Yes, very good. Now make the sign of letter L. Letter L, look here how they are making the sign of letter L. This is how we make the sign of letter N. Very good, Nishyam, Muhammad. Who else is making? Yes, very good, Jabber. Excellent students, okay. And make the sign of letter I, letter I. No, this is the small finger, letter I. Boston? Letter I, small finger, the tiny one. Yes, letter I, yes. Good job. So this is called ASL, uh, American Sign Language, okay? So this is called a sign language. Some machines help us communicate by sounds or by picture or by both of them at the same time. As you see here, fax machine, telephone, and television. So the fax machine, what is the benefit of fax machine? This method is the faster method in delivering information. Let's come to the telephone. Telephone create the strong relationships, time saving, keep you contact with your family and friends. And television, you get uh, alert with uh, the news, you got all worldwide information and many more benefits. Today, the internet is one of the most important means of communication. Today, the, uh, today, the internet is one of the most important means of communication. How it is more valuable it's, uh, it's a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities. So as you see, uh, we are getting a lot of benefits from the computer as in the virtual classes now. Let's see, let's take an example of the COVID. 
now we have a COVID and what we are doing, we are taking our lesson virtually. So we have a lot of benefits. Even we are sitting far away. We are sitting in at our home far away from each other. But still, we can take a class. We can take a class from far away. So this is one of the um, biggest benefit, which we, especially the students are taking right now. We use it for many more things, okay? Uh, we chit chat with each other. We get a lot of information uh, due to, uh, uh, we, we get a lo lot of information. Um, by using the laptop and uh, related technologies like computer. Did you know scientists have been trying to communicate with the dolphin using this a special machine that may make sounds that the dolphin understand? Now, this is the new method they are trying. They are trying to talk with the dolphin. And now, do you know that they are creating a machine and they understand what dolphin is saying. They understand the dolphin, what, what the dolphin is saying. So this is the new techniques. Now let's move on to Okay, now let's move on to the page 57. Page 57. Okay, now, yes, let's start. I'm going to ask you to, uh, the question. Page what? Page 57. So now we have to write down the name of three machines that help us communicate. Draw one of them, draw one of them in the box provided. Yes. Okay, let me unmute you all. Can you give me the machine we can use in nowadays? Yes, laptop also? Yes. In nowadays, how we communicate? Telephone, computer, computer, computer. Very computer. good. Computer, telephone, mobile. Television, television. Excellent. What else? What else? Fax machine. Fax machine. Fax machine. Very good. Printer. Fax machine. Fax machine. Okay. So very good. Fax machine, telephone, computer. Okay, and you can draw a picture. Stop talking. Uh, Stop talking. Draw one of the pictures. I will draw. I draw this one. Yes. The telephone. I draw. Okay. So as you see, you can draw one of them in the box provided. So I draw the computer picture. Okay. Did so you we finish or like not? Yes. Whatever you want to like to draw you can draw on your book okay and it is fiction can fiction 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 yes 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 fiction i can draw in that not be book in 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 my tablet Yes, Abdullah, this is this this is uh, in your student book, page fifty-seven. 